peace, Facebook family. It has been such a long time. I have been through the rabbit hole, <laughs> as deep as you can go, and 2021 has not been good for me um, with personal stuff, so I took a hiatus. Now, that I'm back, we're gonna pick up where we left off. And I did get a new Robbie Reyes jacket made, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, the new Robbie Reyes jacket. And we're also going to compare it to the one that I got from White Sheep's Leather. Bing! So, I had the White Sheep's Leather Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider jacket. And I liked it, but I didn't love it. So I reached out to Ann Foley, the actual creator of the costume from Gabriel Luna's rendition of Robbie Reyes' Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, she had shared me a couple of times. So did Felipe Smith, uh, the creator of Robbie Reyes, and Gabriel Luna. And I kind of built a really good relationship with her. She's a good woman. And um, she gave me some hints and she told me that the inside of the jacket the lining was red and non-quilted um, and she had said it was goat skin leather so I had found this company um, on eBay actually because it was really cheap and I was like well um, how long is it gonna take you to make it and they were like about two weeks and I'm like two weeks that's quick because you know uh, white sheep's leather had like an eight week period in doing stuff and so I said, well, you have one on sale, but I don't like yours. Can I send you adjustments? So I sent them some adjustments. Um, I think some things were missing in the adjustments, but it's still probably 15% more accurate than the one that I got from White Sheep's Leather. But not only that, the leather is a lot um, more comfortable. And it's real leather. And the interior, because it's not quilted, she had explained to me that it shouldn't be quilted. White sheep's leather is, leather is quilted. And this is really, really good. It's not lambskin leather cheap, but it's um, a goat skin, but breathable. So the company's name is Cosplay Hunt. The one that they have on stock, uh, you know, it's just like any other Ghost Rider jacket that you would see on eBay. And I took a risk, it was like 100 and, 30 bucks or something like that and I love the character I got a bunch of uh, different Robbie Reyes jackets and I just wanted one that I was going to be 100% happy with so um, I'm going to give you a, a close up so you can see the branding on it okay I gave them as many pictures as I could um, from the show and what she provided for me and of course a lot of times dealing with people that are, with, that are doing things for you you know, some things get lost in translation, but um, one of the most important things that didn't get lost was the fit and a lot of the stitching, which they did a really good job, okay? And especially with these three stitchings that I wanted to put on it, um, some of the differences that they had and the one that, that they were showcasing, and you know, I love the color, okay? So it does have one inside pocket no pockets on the side to keep it more streamlined. And it's heavy enough to wear if you're riding a motorcycle, it's not meant for it. Heavy enough to wear that if it's cool outside in the winter, but not so hot and, and, and bogged down, um, I'm gonna put it on, okay? And I actually love, love, love this jacket. Boom, I, I feel like a rock star in it. White Sheep's Leathers um, was a little tight on me, but this one fits a lot better. Let me give an, a little bit of an adjustment here so you can, you can see the whole jacket. Boom, love this. Like I can move in it and not feel bad at all. The fit is good. Okay, I mean, this is a great, great jacket, and especially for the price and the fact that I only had to wait 
two weeks for them to do it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to distress it. Um, I mean, I have one that's really badly distressed for cosplay purposes, and it's a lambskin leather. But the way that the shoulders are fitting, it doesn't have shoulder nipples. It's got a really cool look. Um, yeah, it could be a little baggier here, but for me, it feels great. Look, look at all the room that I have. Um, I, I totally love this jacket. I mean, I'm not getting another one. This one's it for me. And um, I may do a giveaway on one of the other ones that I do have. Um, now, I'm going to put on the White Sheep's leather one. You see how um, easy it was for me to take this on and put it on and take it off. All right. So this is the white sheep's leather one and once again they are a good reputable company not to take anything away from them but this is a heavier jacket does it mean that it's better because it's heavier no they gave it a, a quilting on the inside the lining and it's no one you know would have known unless you asked the maker because they never showed that on the show but the quilted lining makes it heavier um the leather is heavier i had asked them to put fabric on here but it doesn't make a difference now when I see that that leather is so much um, lighter okay and this is I think a goatskin leather it just might be a different grain I'm not sure but you know it still looks good but it's so tight here because of the quilted lining that I'm having a hard time bending with it and then they, they didn't pay attention to the sizing so I'm having a hard time zipping it up. So it's a little tight when I do this. Is it a bad jacket? No, it's not It's not a bad jacket. It didn't cost me an arm and a leg, but I feel like I'm wearing a second skin. That one I can actually ride my bike on, you know, drive around the city in it and feel, and feel fantastic. Um, you know, this one, mm. you know, it's good for what it is. The, the corners are not as rounded as the one that I got from um, Cosplay Hunt. So it's not a big company. They have some pretty cool jackets. I might have to make me a, a Logan jacket, although I'm not a big fan of um, the Hugh Jackman uh, Wolverine because he doesn't wear the outfit, but I do like some of the leathers that he wears. So I might even have to make me but once again, this, this is a kick-ass jacket, okay? So, for the price point, uh, for it being more accurate, for the lining being red, okay? Um, for it fitting and then following directions, you know, I really, really, really love this jacket. I'm going to actually give them five about six stars out of five. This is a really good jacket. I love it, love it, love it, love it. There are some stitch places that I had asked them to, to put some lines in it and stuff like that. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Um, hopefully, you know how eBay is. It's, you know, these people changed names and stuff like that. But I was very fortunate um, to get this jacket and, and um, I'm happy with the purchase. You know, you can't get a good leather jacket for this kind of price in, in any any store, period. Um, it's, it's a beautiful jacket. I highly recommend it. And I'm only doing this review not because I haven't done a review, but someone was in my Instagram and um, they saw that I had posted a picture of me wearing it and I, um, had asked me to do this video. So, um, I forgot who it was that asked me, by the way. But so I said, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll do the video. And because Halloween is coming, you know, who better than to start off my uh, last quarter with than Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes. Um, I want to thank everybody who's been watching me and supporting me. Um, I, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy summer. Um, but I'm back and I'm gonna have more content and more things going on. Um, I modified and upgraded the Winter Soldier jacket, which is gonna be coming up next in the next few days. 
um, a full reveal on that one as well. And um, once again, let me know what you think between the white sheep's leather and the cosplay hunt jacket. What do you think? Do you see a big difference? I can feel it, and also I can I can see it. Um, this is Rick Legendary. Don't forget to hit the like, to subscribe, please. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend. Follow me on Instagram under Rick Legendary One, and follow me on Facebook under Rick Legendary. All right, and oh, I'll be on um, TV sometime next week um, on uh, Kelly Ripper show, but I'm not going to give too much information out yet. Um, just look out for it. Peace.